Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm M. In today's video, I'll be trying a free note-taking app which is called Killer Notes in an Android phone and see if it works the same as with the iPad version. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. So Killer Notes is a free note-taking app with in-app purchases like monthly and annual subscriptions and other handbooks to choose from. It's compatible with iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS with M1 chip. But it's also compatible with Android devices too. So I'm going to be using the Samsung A22 5G in this video. So you can go ahead and download Killer Notes from your Play Store or Galaxy Store. So just a little overview of Killer Notes from my iPhone. The interface is very different from Android and there are a lot of more templates and more options for the toolbar on Apple devices. So I'm going to make an updated video on Killer Notes on my iPad, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so going back. To be able to write properly, you'll be needing either a pen or a pen tablet like this. So I'm using the Wii on H420X, which is compatible with Android devices. Okay, to start, this is the main page of the app. So the icon up here is the store icon for a subscription and for other in-app purchases like handbooks. Next is the import icon where you can import PDF documents and other files from your drive. So in this device, the Google Drive. Next is the settings icon where you can enable image performance optimization and then the option to back up your data. When creating a new note, you'll have an option to rename your notebook up here. And then choose a cover and the paper style. I don't know why there are a few cover options in Android, but at least there's an option to upload your custom cover. So for the paper color, there's white, yellow, black, green, purple, and blue. And all these styles are available in each color. So the icon up here is to view all the pages of your notes or your PDF documents. So here you'll have an option to add a page, copy, clear all, and delete a selected page. You can even switch or move around the page within your notes. Now for the main toolbar, from the bottom we have the text tool, pen tool, highlighter tool, eraser, lasso tool, and the media tool. In Android, unfortunately, there's only the fountain pen. So you'll have an option to set five of your favorite colors that you can choose from your presets or from the color palette. You can also use the eyedropper tool or type in the code of the color you like. Then next, you can set your three most used pen size or thickness from 0.1 millimeters to 4 millimeters. And lastly, the brush settings where you can enable the straight line drawing and the shape drawing. So here's how the different pen sizes look like.
When drawing shapes, there's an option to fill the shapes with color and resize or distort the shapes. But for some reason, you can't go back to the fill option once you deselect your shapes. And there's no fill option when you use the lasso tool. So same options for the highlighter tool. Good thing that the highlighter is behind the text so that the handwriting or the text from your PDF documents are still clear and readable. You can also choose the sizes from 0.1 millimeters to 7.7 millimeters. So for the eraser tool, it erases the whole stroke regardless of the size. So there's no option to partially erase a stroke. So I guess having these three sizes here is useless for now, but maybe just a glimpse for the future updates. So we'll see. Then we have the lasso tool where you can screenshot your selection, adjust the size, cut, copy, and delete them. You can't, however, convert your handwriting to text, which is kind of a deal breaker for some. For the inserted photos, you can only copy and paste, resize, cut, or rotate them. No option to crop the photo. And the videos do not work as well. Annotating on the photo is also possible. Now, for the text tool, there are only few options available. There's the size option, the font styles, and the color. You can also choose to cut, copy, select all, and delete your texts. However, fonts and paragraph alignment are missing in the Android version. An external keyboard like this can also be used to type in your notes. So this smiley icon is for the stickers. There are free stickers that you can download, but for the rest, you have to purchase the subscription. Next is the icon here which enables you to replace your current and your last page with different paper styles and add a page before or after your current page. You can also change the color and orientation of your page. Unfortunately, there's no free templates in the Android version but you can purchase them instead. Lastly, you can export your file to your drive in PDF format. If you want to edit your notebook, just click the three dots here so you can rename or delete them. PDF annotation is another feature of this app. So you can screenshot a selected text or photo within the document and paste them to the same page or to your other notebooks.
For the digital planners, sad to say that the hyperlinks doesn't work in my Android phone. Not sure if it does work on tablets though, but it sure works on Apple devices. And to save all your files, you can back up your data to your drive. Kilonotes in Android is still lacking compared to the Apple OS versions, but since it's free, you can check it out and see if it works for you. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next vlog. Peace. Thank you.